YouTube, this is Prepared for Disaster, and today I'm going to do a about a six-year update on some Hankook iPike winter tires. There's the RW11. You can see they're a studded tire. You can see I've had them for a long time. A lot of studs missing. Um, we take these up to the mountains regularly and put them to the test through some pretty deep snow, some very deep ice, and so I'm going to give you a recap of um, these tires and how they've held up for me. So I got these about six years ago, working on seven years, use them about half the year. And um, so we're gonna go up to the mountains here in a little bit. We're gonna get some deep snow and some ice and I'll uh, let you know how everything works out for you. Okay, I, uh, I made it into town, got my uh, stuff taken care of, and now I'm headed back. You can get an idea of what the roads are. This is uh, pretty chunky, um, thick ice, so there's probably two inches of solid ice in spots. You'll hear my center console rattle around, but I guess I'll go over um, what I like about these tires, and if there's anything I don't. Um, what I like about these tires, they're really quiet on the road. Um, they are, I have a set of Dura tracks during the rest of the year, and these are, you know, very quiet. Um, they ride really smooth, and they are um, excellent in wet uh, roads, which we have a lot of in the Pacific Northwest. Um, so there's no fault of the noise, there's no fault of traction in regular conditions. Um, they have worn exceedingly well. Um, like I said, this is six years and they have, uh, you know, at least 75% tread left. So I imagine I can get another several years on it, um, half a years, I should say. The um, gas mileage has not uh, tanked at all. The increased traction, you know, might create some more friction and um, mess with uh, mess with miles per gallon. That has not been the case at all. Um, they, I still get the same crappy gas mileage in my Tundra as I do with my uh, Dura tracks, and uh, so no degradation in gas, no degradation in sound, except for the fact that the studs are excruciating to listen to um, in the uh, dry sections, which is where I usually live. So lots of, uh, lots of tire noise as I drive down, you know, the street, not snow. Um, it is awful. I'm not going to lie. I hate that. Uh, but that's not this tire. That's a studded tire in general. So um, I can't remember what I paid for the tires. I know they were a pretty good deal. As I mentioned before, everyone up in our, our cabin uh, development, which is where I'm taking all this video from, is uh, everyone up there is using these tires. This is their, their tire. So great tire, rides well, not noisy. Grip is incredible. I've gone through probably 20 to 22 inches of uh, fresh snow up and down hills. And I was able to do it with with ease. Um, I do have chains also in case of a necessary change. But um, again, these are these are just fantastic winter tires for extreme conditions. Now, if I didn't have the conditions that we're in right now, um, and we didn't have to drive up an 18% grade with lots of snow and ice, I probably would not be running these. I'd probably maybe run these without the studs. Um, the studs are, you know, not awesome is the only way to put it, but the tire is awesome and I would, I would probably run these in the winter without, uh, without the studs if I didn't have these types of conditions to drive through regularly. So with that being said, I think I'll wrap this up and thanks for watching this, uh, this tire review. I'm going to do a, a review of our Goodyear Duratrax that I've had on for also six years. And then I have some um, Falcon 82. And the reason that these are under uh, prepared for disaster is because these conditions happen. 
Um, these conditions would leave me stranded with my family in the car if I wasn't prepared with having the right traction devices on the road. So we just had a big ice storm in the greater Seattle area and nobody was going nowhere but me. And that's pretty fantastic to know that I can get to where I need to go um, or do my own emergency services deliveries if I need to uh, when no one else can. So that's it. That's a wrap. Uh, thanks for watching. Please hit the like button and subscribe and thank you again. Okay, I thought I'd give you a quick uh, visual of the road that we live on. Um, this is the least amount of grade that we go on, uh, but as you can tell, it's still pretty significant. Um, it looks like they threw a little bit of sand on the road, but uh, nonetheless, it's, uh, it's a steep road. It's uh, all ice underneath it. And you can hear I'm not slipping a tire. Um, I got uh, I got nothing but good traction going on right now. So um, yeah, these things are incredible. You can see we're first tracks on this side. Uh, not a lot of snow right now, frankly. On the on the uh, not a lot of snow on the road, um, but it is ice underneath it. So the snow actually helps a little bit. But I wanted to give you an idea of kind of the the roads that um, these tires get me up and the, the you know the significant amount of ice too which is uh, which is also a big factor up here um, so you'll see we're about to go up even steeper here kind of hard to tell you know it doesn't look like much from from the phone but it's, it's, it's fairly steep here this is not the steepest part um, I did not video for the steepest part but you can certainly see it's it's at least a uh, fairly steep road to drive up and uh, can be kind of terrifying at times. So I've gone up this in 20 to 22 inches of fresh snow with these tires. So um, I could can say with certainty these are the ones for the job. Anyway, that's it. Just wanted to give you a quick visual of um, this road. It's uh, it's a brutal. It's a, it's a steep one. And of course, then you get even bigger problems when you start to have to stop or slow and go around really sharp turns like this. You can see the uh, the amount of you know accelerating on a on a hill. Um, so anyway, I'll leave you alone. There you go. There's an example of one of the hills that we live on.